Okay, the LA Chargers review and reveal a new plan for Quentin Johnston. This is a guy that uh, wide receiver that big time out of college, and you really need him if you're a Chargers fan, especially with some of the departures at the wide receiver. This guy can fill in and be just fine. And so here's what the Chargers are saying. Greg Roman, the offensive coordinator, said, we've done some different things with him, too, not just lining him up outside. He's looked great doing it, so we're really excited about the what the future holds, and we want to get him the ball on quick, underneath routes, catch and runs, but we also want to be able to throw some bombs to him as well. So one of the things that was just very frustrating if you were a, a Chargers fan was that the previous coaching staff, led by Brandon Staley and Kellen Moore, simply did not know how to properly use Johnston considering his skill set. And I think he's a big outside guy. So you think, all right, big outside guy, go get the ball. I don't know. And they already had Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. They have the big outside guy. Then he's just like another guy. It reminded me of basketball when you had like three centers or three power forwards. In today's game, it spread you out in, in basketball, right? Spread you out quick spread the floor, shoot threes, and size isn't as big of a deal. And that's what they're saying here. Hey, let's get him underneath routes. Let's get him with some momentum where he can catch a, a slant and take it. Let's get a, a wide receiver screen. Like there's ways to get him involved, get his confidence up. And then, yeah, those longer passes will come, those things that you, you look for. But man, there's ways to scheme him up rather than just like, all right, well, let's throw it up to him. It's like, man, that... That's that's not good, right? So Johnston won't ever be a bona fide franchise wide receiver that tilts the field in the favor of the Chargers. I agree with that. Probably won't, right? That's fine. It would take drastic improvements for Johnston to reach that level. It's very hard to imagine him taking that after his rookie year. That being said, Johnston can certainly be more productive than he was last season if used in a proper way. And so... 100% because you go to the depth chart and this is where if you're if you're a Chargers fan you got to continue to say hey man we know Joshua Palmer is going to break out and we'll get to that in just a second we know Lad McConkey can get separation love that DJ Chark has just shown to be a very serviceable wide receiver like above average so there's your three wide receivers but you look at him Quentin Johnston it's like man if he can play now we've got five receivers plus Cornelius Johnson Brendan Rice that could possibly develop We've got the star quarterback. We've got great offensive line play. We've got good running back. So now the offense is really in a good spot. And Quentin Johnson is just a guy that just feels like he's going to break out under Jim Harbaugh. If you remember when Jim Harbaugh went to the 49ers, they had just this team of stars that emerged suddenly once Jim Harbaugh got there and started developing these guys and just put them in the right position. It's like, man, this team's loaded. Like what the heck? remember then they just go to NFC championship games and Super Bowls. It's like, where did they come from? No, it's the same guys, but they're coached better preparations, their game plan, strength, conditioning, all that just matters so much. And so I'd love to see that. Um, so now speaking of guys that we're going to break out under Jim Harbaugh, let's take a look at that. And again, if you're new to the channel, we're Detroit Lions fans, but we have this channel all about uh, the Chargers. And, and it's nice because it gives you an opportunity to see uh, an unbiased look into your into your team. And so here are three Chargers that could take the NFL by storm. And I really like this. First one's Gilman. First full time starter in 2023. He was fighting an uphill battle. Derwin James, you know, there's needed needed to get onto the field. But safety help is he, he's got to be there. And so Jesse Minter is not a lock to be a success in the NFL level, but he can take what he did at Michigan and the Chargers will be, see big improvements. Remember what he did at Michigan was two things. He said, we're not going to give up the big play. And the second thing is attention to detail. We're just going to be in the right spot. So I may not have the best player, most athletic, but we're going to be in the right spot. Hopefully we make a play. If the other team makes a better play, fine. But we can control we can control, which is so like corny, but it's so true. Like we're going to be in the right spots. If the other team beats us, fine. Just so happens Jesse Minter had a loaded Michigan defense so good i mean they gave up like nine points a game just ridiculous right it's like one touchdown and maybe someone else got a field goal but that was it so this is a safety 
that could really benefit from Jesse Minter. Next, Joshua Palmer. We continue to talk about him because there's a big need at wide receiver for somebody to step up. Palmer's had some injury stuff, wasn't used the best. There was no running game, consistent running game that he's ever had. He hasn't been coached like the way that he should be. So it's like, man, this is a good player that's ready to just be good with Justin Herbert, right? Like that makes sense to me. So Palmer alongside Lad McConkey are the are the top two. Quentin Johnson, we don't know. We just talked about him. We don't know what he's going to be. So it's like, all right, Lad McConkey needs you. Or Ned, Lad McConkey and Palmer, got to have you guys. <laughs> got to have you. And they feel pretty good about it. So Palmer, let's go with a running game, good offensive line, feel like he could really step up. Um, The other one is Thule. So Chargers fans, and we've learned this by doing this channel, Thule is someone that's really popular and people love, but, but the NFL, the rest of the NFL doesn't really know about him. So he could be a guy that does take the NFL by storm. Not Chargers fans so much, but the NFL. But the, the good news is there's Bosa, Khalil Mack, Bud Dupree as well. So it's there's a little bit more depth there, which, again, that's good, but he's still going to get his opportunities, and hopefully he's, he stands out like they think that he can. Um, so, again, if you're a Chargers fan, and, and by the way, let me know in the comments who you really, who you think could could step up this year. I, Quentin Johnston's one, of course, and then um, – for me on the defensive side, it's it's Derwin James, who is a great player and has played well, but it just feels like he will be more settled down and uh, will know his role defensively, and he won't be like a star player that they're trying to make something happen. Just play safety, and then the interceptions, the batted balls, the forced fumbles, like all those things will come just by being, being you. You don't have to be... Like they don't have to have him blitz in or playing slot or linebacker and all these different things. Just play, play straight up under Jesse Minter. And I think Derwin James will really stand out. So um again, if if you're if you're new to the channel, all about the LA Chargers. So if you've watched a couple of videos that, by now, make sure you subscribe to our channel as we continue to uh, make videos and, and really watch how the Chargers continue to develop. And it's gonna be interesting to see how the fan base responds if and when the the Chargers win consistently because it seems like in the past anytime you start to get excited about the Chargers they'll they'll lose two in a row this all was the Lions forever you, you know you win a couple in a row and it's like okay what do we got you lose three in a row you win two you lose two you win one you lose you know it's just like every time you kind of want to get behind the team it doesn't work out so excited to see what Jim Harbaugh brings of course so let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll see all of you on the next one